Atlanta United Fan TV. Yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. one would have to say it's drop points, and yeah, you really don't feel fantastic after that result, but I guess it's our first point of the season. Yeah, we, we really, I mean, we needed the point, if for anything, just to kind of get whatever kind of role. Yeah. Um, I will say, um, after the uh, well, right after the DC game, Alexi Lawless tweeted out if we were going to be boring. And I said, obviously, you were watching Herediano. I might want to take a couple steps back on that, just a little bit. This, this game felt a little bit like a lull. Yeah. I mean, Joseph Goy, when it happened in the first five minutes, I was like, okay, you know, we're going to get something rolling here. Yeah. I don't know where the rest of the game went. I don't. It's, the team looked disconnected. Um, looked like players are being kind of – like forcing things to the players. It just didn't look free flowing. It didn't look like they lay United, I know. One could say it's fatigue. One could say it's maybe the formation with Frank de Boer and, you know, tactics and whatnot. Uh, what do you make of it? What What do you think is the crux of the, the play? Um, I think the biggest thing, it, it may be the formation. I think the way this team is set up for what Frank wants to do, I just don't think it, it works all that well. Um, Having this, you know, two ten system with Pity and Barco is like having like a student driver car with two wheels. You're, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. You gotta have one person take control of this, this offense. If it's gonna be, you brought Pity in. If it's gonna be him, get somebody, get two people who can compliment him on the ball, not do the same thing he does. And if that screams Tito Vialba to me, coming in for Barco because Tito doesn't need the ball. You bring him in. Pit and let the offense run through pity because it does seem like it's running through. It's supposed to be running through Joseph, and it probably shouldn't be. This offense ran through Miguel, and Joseph was a good benefactor of that. You need to let this offense run through one person instead of forcing the ball to Joseph. I think. Well, what worked in the past was that we had a dynamic offense where, I mean, you saw it today where Gressel came in and yeah. He very quickly already created a chance for Joseph because that connection is there, right? Yeah. And so do we need to be patient and let the team kind of figure it out? Or are there pressing matters with CCL that, you know, are maybe forcing our hand? You know, I would have said before today, before I saw the lineup, that there were a little more pressing matters with CCL, but I worry about the rotation. It just, I mean, you play that strong of a first-choice lineup, I don't know what you do Wednesday. Um, I do think we need to be patient. You know, when you hear all the stories about um, Frank DeBoer being um, at Crystal Palace and uh, and, and, and them saying, you know, like, oh, I, he said I need six months, and they fire him out of four games. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Why would you even do that? And I've caught myself at times saying, I don't need to panic yet because he just got here. He's trying to implement a system. Like, yeah. we don't need to. I don't need to be feeling like I'm, I'm nowhere near DeBoer out, and I don't think anybody should be that way yet. But Something does have to change. I, I think when Escobar comes back, I think that'll be a big help because it could push Gressel up. Maybe you pull Barco off, and then you, then you still have those two people, like I mentioned, if you don't have to, even if you don't have Tito. But I, I do think we need to be patient. I, I think Wednesday's going to be kind of rough. If we get through it, thank God. If we don't, I, I mean, I, I just want people to, you know, kind of just calm down a little bit because – Philly is coming, and that's really where we need to kind of show what's happening with us. So, so in terms of that, would you play a very strong 11 against Monterey and try to go for it, or do you rest and bring in kids? I mean, it's a tough decision there. It is a very tough decision, and you don't ever want to show, especially, you know, us being MLS champs, you don't ever want to come out and say, you know, okay, we are so far behind that, you know, it's just not going to happen. So, And I think the fact that there's a two-week break after Philly – I think that means that we're probably going to have a first-choice lineup. I, I, I can imagine him running that first-choice lineup out there. Maybe we'll get some rotation against Philly, depending on how that game goes. But I think we're going to see first-choice and just kind of just go for it at that point. So.